SHLD. Store HNL registers direct. And its template is SHLD 16 bit address. The contents of register L are stored in the memory location specified by the 16 bit address. Now, this is some memory location address. See here, we have two registers L and H. So, the contents of the L register, always these uh, square braces indicates the contents of the register. So, the contents of the register L are stored in the memory location given by the 16 bit address. And the contents of H register and the contents of the H register are stored into the next memory location. Next memory location means the memory location plus 1. If it is for example 2000, this should be 2000 and this will be 2001. So, the content of L gets copied into the 16 bit address and the content of H gets copied into the next memory location given in the instruction. Let us see with an example SHLD 3250. So, before execution and after execution. So, before execution, assume that your HL registers have 2050. So, after execution, what is the memory location given in the instruction? 30 to 50. So, the content of L has to be copied into the memory location. So, what is the content of L now? 50. So, 50 gets copied into the 30 to 50 and the content of H what is the content of H 20 the content of H gets copied into the next memory location means 30 to 51 so this is how your SHLD instruction works next exchange H and Del with D and E registers. So, X C H G and none indicates there are no operands. Always whenever you see this exchange instruction, remember that the data would be swapped between H L and D E pairs. Now, the content of register H, let me write down H L D E. Now, the contents of register H are exchanged with the content of D means the content of H is copied into the D and the, com and the contents of D are copied into the H. Similarly, the content of L is copied into the E and the content of E gets copied into the L. This is what is your exchange instruction. Let us understand with an example XCHJ. HL, assume that your uh, HL register pair has some data 2030 and your DE has some 4050. After execution, after execution, what uh, the H and L get swapped, L and E get swapped. So, we get 40-50 in the HL and 20-30 in DE. Next, SPHL. Copy H and L registers to the stack pointer. So, the template for it is SPHL and uh, there are no operands here, none, no operands, only we have SPHL. Now, this instruction loads the content of HL pair into stack pointer. It loads the, 
so before this understand sp is a stack pointer sp means it is stack pointer and what is its size 16 bit hl means it is a register pair register pair means two registers each register is of 8 bit so hl means 16 bit so sp is a 16 bit hl pair is also 16 bit now this instruction loads the contents of hl pair into the stack pointer nothing but using this instruction we can initialize the stack pointer if i want to start the stack pointer from some 2000 location then i'll first load the hl pair with the 2000 and use the sphl so using the sphl the 2000 which is there in the hl pair gets copied into the stack pointer sp yeah let's see example SPHL. So before execution again and after execution. Now before execution, H has some assume H has some 35 and L has some 00. zero. Nothing but 3500. So after execution, we know that uh, the content of the HL will be copied into the stack pointer. So the stack pointer will get 3500. And what will be there in the H register 35 and L 00. Same. The source will not be altered. Yeah. Next instruction is XT HL. Exchange H and L with top of stack. Exchange H and L with top of stack. And the template for is XT HL. And the operands are none, no uh, operands. Now, what does this instruction do? The contents of L register, the contents of L register are exchanged with, with the location pointed out by the contents of SP. Now, you know that HL pair means we have L register and H register. Now the content of L register gets wrapped with the content of the SP and the content of the H register are exchanged with the next location. Next location means SP plus 1. They are exchanged with the SP plus 1. Means the content of L register goes into the stack pointer and the content of stack pointer gets copied into the L register. Coming to the H register, the content of H register get copied into the next memory location means stack pointer plus 1 and the content of the memory location which is your SP plus 1 gets copied into the H register. So let us understand the same thing with an example. So, XT HL before execution, SP is 2500 and HL is some 3040. So, after execution, after execution, so 2500, your 2501 because SP and SP plus 1, SP is having 2500 so this is your 2500 and sp plus 1 is 2501 and what is sp is having sp is having 2500 Let us understand this with an example XTHL. So, before execution, stack pointer has 2500 and HL has 
30 40 and we assume that the stack pointer which is here 2500 the data in the 2500 is some a and 2501 is b a and b so after execution the HL pair so we need to know the HL pair the content of stack pointer we need to know the content of HL content of stack pointer content of 2500 memory location and 2501 memory location now as you know like the 2500 memory location 2500 is nothing but the stack pointer so it get exchanged with the content of L register what is there in the L register 40 so 2500 will get 40 here and uh, sp plus 1 2501 will get the data from h register so 30h and coming to the hl register so hl will get the h will get the 0b and l will get the 0a and coming to the content of stack pointer it will remain same 2500 h only the contents are swapped next pc hl load program counter with hl contents and the template is only pc hl we have only mnemonic present here the contents of register H and L are copied into the program counter. So, the content of the H and L are copied into the program counter. What is program counter? Program counter always carries the address of the next instruction to be executed. So, the contents of H are replaced as the higher order byte and the contents of L as the low order byte now let us see this with an example yeah let us understand with an example pc hl so if this is your program counter register so lower 8 bits and higher 8 bits so the content of l will get copied into the Lower, lower order byte and the content of H will get copied into the higher order byte H and L so for example if we take before execution and after execution before execution if HL is having some 20 30 H after execution the PC will have 20 30 h goes into the high, higher order bits and the l goes into the lower lower order byte next is your push instruction so push and pop instructions are they are related to the stack operations So the template for it is push register pair. The contents of the register pair are copied onto the stack. Very important. The contents of the register pair are copied onto the stack.
Now the SP is decremented and the contents of high order registers. So for example we have what are the register pairs we have BC, DE, HL. So now first what happens is that when we go with the push instruction the SP the stack pointer gets decremented by one time the stack pointer gets decremented by one time and the contents of the high order registers means for example it may be B register or it may be D register or it may be H register the contents of it get copied onto the SP minus one location and then SP is the stack pointer is again decremented by 1 means no SP minus 2. So when SP is again decremented now the contents of the low order registers low order register means C, D sorry C, E and L. C, E and L get copied onto the stack pointer. So let me repeat it once again. Push register pair. This instruction basically deals with the stack operations. The contents of the register pair are copied onto the stack. So whenever we use the push instruction, first the stack pointer. What is the stack pointer? stack pointer always holds the address of the top of the stack so first it would be decremented means pre decremented before the operation itself first it is decremented and then the high order register may be b d h from any of the register pair will be copied onto the sp minus 1 location and then it is decremented one more time sp minus 2 and then the content of the low order registers which are C, E and L they are copied onto the stack pointer. So let us understand with an example. Push B. So push B instruction will push the contents of B, C registers. B here indicates it is B C register pair. Now assume that let B register has some 20 H in it and the C register has 30 H and let stack pointer is 2500. 2500 is the stack pointer. Now let us draw the stack. So this is your stack pointer 2500 memory location. So first time what did I say? When we use instruction SP minus 1 SP minus 1 so 2500 minus 1. 2004FF and the next is here 24FE 24FD next so on minus 1 each time so first what do we do SP minus 1 so SP minus 1 and then copy the content of B register. What is the content of B register? 20H. So SP minus 1 is 24FF. So in this memory location, we store the 20H. Next again, one more time decrementing. So what do you get? 24FE. So here, 30H.
and your stack pointer also gets updated. So this is what is your push operation. So first we decrement the stack pointer, load the data onto it and again decrement it and again load the data from the other register. So next pop, pop of stack to register pair. So this instruction retrieves the data from the stack onto register pair. So when we say register pair, each register is of 8 bits. So 2 bytes of data is retrieved from the stack. So first the content of the stack pointer is retrieved to the lower register. Lower register means for example if it is the BC register pair. We have BC, DE, HL. So if it is BC, what is the lower register? C is the lower register. So the contents of the stack pointer. What is a stack pointer? The stack pointer is a register which always holds the address of top of the stack. So the content of the stack pointer is taken into the or retrieved into the C register. Then the stack pointer is incremented by 1. So usually pop is a post increment operation. First we retrieve the data then we increment it. So after we update the stack pointer that is after we increment the stack pointer next the content of stack pointer is stored in the higher register. Higher register in sense B register. Lower is C and higher is B. Now in this instruction no flags are affected and the contents of flag are unchanged. So let's see example pop h. So here the register pair is hl. L is the lower register, h is the higher register and the stack pointer. So before execution the stack pointer is at 2 to fe. So what is the content of the 2 to fe? So some data 10h and in 2 to ff next memory location 24h. Now after this instruction is executed pop h. So as known see here the content of stack pointer is taken into the lower register. So the content of the stack pointer is taken into the lower register and then the stack pointer is incremented by 1. After the stack pointer is incremented by 1, the content of the stack pointer is taken into the higher register which is your H. So these are the values before execution and after execution. Next, in and out. So in instruction, in instruction is used when we deal with the ports, input output ports. Copies data to accumulator from a port with 8 bit address. So here the content or the data on the input output port are copied into the accumulator. So for example we have a port address. So the data or the content of the port address is copied into the accumulator register. So example is increment 8c. So 8c is the port address, port, port address, input output port. So before execution assume that the port address 8c has some 10h. So after execution the source will not be changed. So 8c will have the same 10h but the data from the port address will be copied into the accumulator register. Next out. 
copy data from accumulator to a port with 8 bit address. So here what happens is that the content of accumulator will be copied onto the port address. So example 87H. So before execution, assume that tier 87H was, ha was having some 20H and accumulator 40H. After execution, see here, the content of the accumulator should be copied onto the port address. So 87 will have 40H, 40 and the accumulator also will have the 40H. So with this, we finish the data transfer group of 8085 microprocessors. For more videos on 8085, you can refer to the playlist. Thank you.